Okay, let's take a look at the new Cube 200 4x50 Prime Charger by Racer's Edge. Comes in a nice aluminum carrying case, fits all your adapters and everything inside. You got your instruction manual. Read that. Battery tray pad. Can install that guy. You're gonna have a series of adapters. So the Cube 200 is great because you can charge four batteries at the same time. You can actually charge four different chemistries at the same time if you choose to as well. Not only can you charge all types of different current battery chemistries, LiPo, lithium phosphorus, nickel metal, NICAD, we also include every adapter that you might need to get the job done. You've got your Traxxas, Dings, Standard or Tamiya style, the white plug. Then you have receiver pack, mini plug, alligator clips for something particular. We also include a blank lead set in case you have something that's uh, not quite as common, like EC3 or something like that. On top of that, we also include two balance adapters, Thunder Power Flight Power, and also the JST XH style, which is compatible with all Racer's Edge batteries. You have a couple of bigger alligator clips for connecting to a DC power source. This is a DC only charger, so you will need a, either a DC power supply or you can run it off of your car battery. That's what those are for. And then we also include two of the new Pro Bullet charging leads, which are set up specifically to balance charge or just charge 2S battery packs for your common 10 scale racing. It's great because you don't need to utilize the balance boards with these. They plug right into the sides of the charger, into each port, nice and streamlined. Get them all set up, and you're good to go. So here I have four different battery packs that I'm going to plug in and set up. They're also utilizing four different connectors that are all included with the charger. They're actually all included with each of our Prime Series charger, the Solo 80, the Twin 400, and the Cube 200. So let's go ahead and set these up. Pay attention to polarity, especially when you're using the bullet style. It doesn't take into account that you could plug them in backwards, unlike some plugs. So here we are, we have four different batteries plugged in, actually three different chemistries. You have uh, nickel metal, lithium phosphorus, and two lithium polymer cells, lipo cells. Now each screen corresponds to each channel, of course. Just pay attention to where they're numbered and where that number corresponds on the charge ports on the side of the charger. And you can make adjustments accordingly. So channel one is our 4000 shorty race pack. We're gonna go ahead and go to lipo balance mode, which we're actually in. I'm gonna increase the charge rate using the increase and decrease button. I got to that by just tapping the enter key. It highlights that section of the profile. You can make adjustments. Tap it one more time. It'll let you adjust the cell count. So you can go all the way up from a single cell all the way up to 6S. Tap it one more time and you've locked in those settings. Now if you hold the button down, You'll get the charge tone and ask you for confirmation, basically a safety double check to make sure you know what you're doing. Hit it one more time and that one is balance charging. Down here we have a lithium phosphorus cell on channel 3. So we're going to back up and go into the programming so that we can charge the lithium phosphorus cell. So. 
Here we are, LIFE battery, enter. And we're gonna change the amp rate, double check the cell count. So we're charging a 1500 milliamp. So we're gonna charge at 1.5. Tap that again, double check that your cell count is correct. Tap that one more time to lock that in and then hold it down and you can start charging. Okay, let's go over to channel two here. And that is our 2S 25C hardwired 5000 milliamp battery with a Traxxas plug. So we want to go to LiPo charge mode. We are LiPo charge. We're going to tap the enter button and adjust the amp rate to 5 amps. Tap it one more time, double check our cell count on the right side of the screen. Lock that in and then hold it down and get the charge cycle going. Confirm that setting. And then we're gonna go down to channel four, which is our nickel metal hydride battery. So we're going to scroll through, find the nickel metal profile, enter. We wanna charge, NIM charge, and we can actually increase the current here. Let's just go up to 4 amps. Tap that one more time to lock it in. Hold it down to get it started. And there we are. We're charging four different battery packs simultaneously. Three different chemistries utilizing four of the possible set of adapters that are included. It sounds like something's finished.